Born and people, this is me, Pad Cam1209, right here. And people, today we are going to be looking at the 1.16 Nether update in Minecraft. And guys, be sure to like and subscribe my channel. And if you have any new suggestions for games or anything you want to see, please just type in the comment section. I will be so thanked. So, guys, without further ado, let's begin. So, at first, we will look at all the blocks, newly added blocks that were added to Minecraft. So first of all, there's Shroom. Wait a minute. Yes. First of all, there are these uh, signs. First, there are uh, the Wrath signs and the Crimson signs. So they are basically made from. You know, let me just go here and show you these Crimson blocks. These are actually wooden blocks from the Nether which uh, we get from the trees that uh, were displayed in the update. So yeah, so, and first of all, let's start from the shroom light. So the, so, the shroom light is basically uh, like a glowstone, works as a glowstone, but when you harvest it, it gives you uh, shroom, mushrooms, yes, fungal mushrooms, which are very useful and well, I'll show you later what they are useful for. Then there is the Crimson Nylon, which is actually a, uh, well, nether red dirt like this. It works the same. It has no effect special. It's just like a decorative block or building block. This is basically, you find them, I guess, in the Piglin villages. Then there's the Wrap Nylon, which is the blue version of the same. Then there's the Basalt or and Polished Basalt, which is basically the cobblestone of the nether then there are netherite gold ores where you can find netherite scraps and gold then there's the ancient debris which is basically another form of dirt you can say then we have same strip crimson hay which are the shaved blocks of that same blue version then wrapped hay uh, yeah, which is no like back hay is uh, the plank and this is the more smoother plank Then uh, these are the strip version like when you you know right click some right click a wood with an axe It becomes shaved. This is the same color variations And then don't steal a block No Then we have the gilded blackstone which uh, Has kind of like molten gold in it I don't know, it's basically gold. Oh, bro. Let me just put it again. It's in my inventory. Where is it? Yeah, it's not in the old system. I think it never works. You know, let me just search for it. G U I G L C I U. So, yeah. This is uh, where you can uh, also get the netherite scraps from. And I say netherite scraps are awesome. So then we have the cracked blackstone brick which is basically the mossy uh, brick design. And there's the polished blackstone which I bet you can also get from the nether. It's pretty common. Then we have the soul soil which is well another form of dirt which is usually found in the piglin villages. So now uh, let's move to the more fun part. So well most of the people wonder like how do you get yourself in netherite armor you can craft it. So most of the people what they do is they uh, first of all you know let me just teach you how to get uh, netherite this. So you can uh, harvest netherite you know automatically but for that you need something special so what I'm gonna do is you need four pieces of netherite scrap and then four pieces of gold is four so you can place them in any order yeah like any any order it doesn't matter and you get one netherite scrap for each four of this and for this so now, what most of the people do while they, you know, make netherite armor, they think that they can just simply go and do this. This, I mean. But 
they don't get it so they get confused so what you need to do in order to get a netherite armor is that you take a diamond armor i'm going to take every single one of them just for your explanation yes let's just get them all okay so what you do you take them you open this you keep your hair and keep this here no i need So what you do is, you basically, you keep a netherite block here, and you keep a chest plate here. And I don't know why, but it's not appearing anymore. What's happening? Or is it like? Any place, any place, anything. I don't know why guys but it's not coming here all right maybe some problem I don't know my system lags a bit so if you do this you get this and yeah you know, let me just try like other arms no you don't get that do you so yeah you pretty much have to like weld the netherite ingots on the iron uh, armor I don't know why it's not happening here but it's like this I don't know why it's maybe some glitch or something I don't know but yeah that's how you do it so let me just keep that in here now guys what I'm gonna show you is really important now I'm gonna show you how to make a respawn anchor and use it so first of all what you need for this is three six pieces of prime obsidian and three glowstone so and place them in this order as i should so you can only get prime obsidian by bartering yes by uh, bartering with a piglin i have to pick this i'll show you later so you can only get them by bartering with piglin and man these are rare because piglin can only give like you around one to three it's like a pickling can only give you maximum three of these things so yeah and they are super rare to get so yeah pretty much so how do you charge these things so for this i'm just gonna go to the nether and show you i just quickly go there and man nether has become awesome super hot which is very good so you place them in the nether and they only and only work in the nether you know what let me just sh show you what happens how you catch them so what you do is you see this uh, little you know hole kind of thing you click on them it's half click on them again you need to make it full to, for it to work and again and again and now you need to click on it once more and respawn points so you know what like uh if i die let me just transfer my stuff real quick because i won't be able to get back let me go to like slash game mode s and game of survival and now i'm gonna jump in the lava i died see i'm gonna respawn right here and as you can see each one of it, it's like one life so I'm gonna die like again see it blows so yeah that's how you charge it then there are these things uh, the soul version of lanterns fires and this so yeah pretty much you can get them by you know charging soul fire oh my gosh. thank god I have that man so nice yeah it's just like one life what happens if I do that? Yeah, it's just gonna use up that. And, well, see, it's charged. And I can charge it right again. And yeah, so it's like battery thing. And each one requires fun. So yeah, pretty much that's it. And pretty cool. Yes. 
and then people there are these mobs so first of them I'm gonna show you a hoglin so hoglin is basically a nether pig which I just just put it down here in this bench I created see this is a hoglin now I have my cow that will it attack me pretty sure it will let me just get my least one and see if I can charge it. Let's see, charge it. No, no, I can see my least one. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, it's a pretty much least one. So, I'm just thinking that will it attack me? I don't know if it will or it won't. Let's just see if it will. Hey. So, slash game mode C. Does, do you attack me? Do you? I'm in front of you? No, you are friendly, but I hit you. No, you still don't attack. So you are a cat. And I bet they give you letters when they kill you. Still, slash S. Do you attack me now? Yes, you do. And you, yeah, I'm like half, one and a half. Slash two. And yeah, my dog. What do you give? Your pork and hide. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, then let's just kill ourselves real quick. Back here, slash game. See, so be careful of those hoglins. Then we have the zoglins and the piglins, and my favorite, which I have been waiting to show you the strider. The strider is awesome. So, first of all, I'm going to just get my gold out there. Let's just leave the hoblins in there so this is a zoblin which is a zombie version of a hoblin which is also hostile like the hoblin pretty much then we have a piglin and look the piglin runs from the hoblin and you can barter with them gold so they are both running so the Piglin is running from the house. Oh, two piglets. Can I, I give you a gold angel? What will you give me? So you can pretty much barter with them. Yeah, see, he gave me the right click. And this one gave me gravel. So yeah, you can just right click on them. They will look at the gold for a moment, think what they should give you. And don't kill the spider strikers. And then gave me a charge. Nice. Right. Now it's time for like thing I have been waiting for for a long, 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 long time to show you. And it will be my first time trying them out too. So let's just go to that lava pool. I'm gonna spawn in a right there okay so what do I do I put sand on him no it's too small big 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 gear yes there you go sand on them then you right click on them and you press this they are basically pigs that can walk up and they don't get yeah that's pretty much it let me just look at this look I'm on my you can uh, guide them using the stick just like you do with your pigs, yeah. And they have this thing like their speed it changes. Yeah. Plus they also they also change colors and they jump. can jump. And I look so fast right now. That's the same thing with pigs. Sometimes. 
they go so fast, sometimes they are like the slowest thing ever. Yeah, see, it has become slow. So their speed basically depends on their move. Yeah, now I don't know what happens if you charge your reset. Zombie fight thing, yeah. The spawn zombie fight thing, yeah. yeah, and they will attack you too, so you can have this brawl match. And they will attack you, so they are basically zombies up in there. So, yeah, now I want to show you what happens if you charge an anchor in your boat. Right here. Boom, it blasts. It doesn't work here. Just, you know, dig under, put a base, or charge it. See? You can clip them four times, like, but the fifth time in the clip, the same spawn. See, nothing. Click them again. Blast. Yeah, that's it about these. Now let me just clear my inventory real quick, clear, and now guys, I want to show you the best thing ever, these netherite boots with soul speed. So, whenever we go to the nether, we are like, we can't sprint on souls and nothing, so slow, and if there's like a bunch of those guys behind you, you're pretty much dead, cause they don't get affected by this. And the soul sand does nothing, it's totally, it's basic dirt, so, but, but it do is so speed. So you wear these, stand on this, and this gives you a speed boost on soul sand. How cool is that? Speed boost on the thing which gives an anti speed boost. So you, so well, this basically gives you an anti anti speed boost effect, by my understanding. Plus, whenever you step on this, like jumping, there's nothing. But whenever you step on this, it gives this little. You know, soul particle effects when you run. See? Yeah, it's like basically you are forcing out the souls in the soul sign. You can see the faces that slow you down. Man, you can go fast in this. You know what? Let me just build a track. Let's just extend this track real quick. Nice. Just gonna extend this track. Move that one over here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off my soul speed and I'm gonna walk on it. Okay. This is gonna take a long time. You know what? Let me just keep the time track. Let it hit one minute. 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, slowly but steadily, making my way. Alright, okay, there you go. Nice. Okay. So, it took me 20 seconds. Now, let's just sprint on it and see. So, 1, 2, 3, go. These places. The soul sign, you can just literally make them out. Sprinting took me 12 seconds, so yeah, nothing much of a difference. Now, and I have these on. Look what I can pull off a miracle. I have the soul effect, bubbles are there. Now, when I run, let me just get it to my turn. When, when I run on this, let me just not try to get knocked out. I took this 
which took me like 14 and 12 seconds on average. I did this in like 6 seconds, literally. I'm testing my clock. I did it in 6 seconds. Now let's sprint. 4 seconds. I crossed every block of soul sign in 4 seconds. I'm too OP, man. It's too OP. I'll fuck them. So, but this doesn't give you anything special except the speed you cannot jump. I guess you can jump higher, can you? No. Nah, the jump down, but it won't have any deals for me. You can, you know, give you like a super effect. Like you can jump super high and do a lot of stuff. So, yeah. It's pretty dull. But, well, it's pretty dull by itself. So, guys, that's all for today in this nether update video and if you have any other questions you can just questions or suggestions you can just ask them so guys be sure to like and subscribe my channel right again i'm just telling you and yeah bye